All right, step number 11, 12, buffer detent, buffer tube. Um, actually, step number 10, takedown pin. They all kind of go together. So take your takedown pin, groove facing the rear of the gun. I'm just going to slide that in there, okay? We're going to take, well, here, I'll try to angle this well. See that hole there? We're gonna take our takedown pin detent, slide it in that hole. Take our detent spring, slide it in there. Okay, it's important we do this first. Now let me get another angle. That pin's gonna be, or that spring's gonna be sticking out a little bit. That's okay. Angle change. All right, next is gonna be our buffer detent and spring. Let's put the spring in the detent, load it up right there. It's gonna be chilling for a little bit, okay? So we have our takedown detent back here and spring hanging out. This thing's in, not fully installed. Next is gonna be our buffer tube. Just heads up, <laughs> you might get buffer tube with the cap on it. That means your buffer spring is inside with the buffer. So be careful, I'm gonna do this on camera because the spring, it's loaded with tension in there. So just be careful pulling that thing out, okay? Set it out, set it to the side. Don't need to worry about that yet. Now, before we put the buffer tube on, we wanna make sure that we load our Yeah, what's this called? Our ring on here. And we're gonna tighten this all the way down. Okay, castle nut, that's what this thing's called. Forgot it. Get our castle nut on the buffer tube all the way. Okay, why? Because we want that out of our way. This is our end plate. This particular end plate has a QD attachment for a QD sling. We want the we want to put this on the right way. So QD attachment facing out. You'll also see there's a little uh, groove here that lines up with the buffer tube. So we're just gonna slide that on right there, okay? Now this particular one, this end plate moves with the buffer tube. So we're gonna line this up here, start screwing this on. There's a couple things to be aware of. Remember there's a spring back here poking out from our takedown pin. It's a detent spring. And then we also have to be aware of as this buffer tube screws on, we're gonna come in contact with that buffer detent. So what happens about at the same time, this is why we take that castle nut all the way back. And uh, it's important to notice too, if you see these big grooves on the castle nut are facing back, you're gonna have some little grooves that are gonna face up against this end plate. You'll find out why here in a second, make sure you do that. Now, I can't turn any more of this buffer detents in the way, so I'm gonna push that down, turn it. And the question is, do I keep it there? Or do I turn it one more? I think looking at this, I think one more is going to be too much, but yep, one more is too much. So you want to take it as close as you can to that detent as possible. We're going to slide up our end plate right up against the receiver. We're going to tighten our castle nut up there. Now, before we start making things permanent, we're just going to check real quick our takedown pin is caught that detent system is working good now that this is hand tight everything's lined up everything's working well we need to tighten this down to 35 pounds per square inch which is about that tight okay now that we're on nice and tight this is just a little trick of the trade I made 
tighten that there. That way when I stake it, I'm not putting too much pressure on the wrong things. So staking, you'll see this little, little detent there. I'm just going to stake down into our end plate and then back into our castle nut. So I just go halfway, kind of halfway deep in the end plate. You'll see, just to make that little divot there. Once I have a little divot, I'm gonna angle it back. Stake it. What does that do? That keeps this castle nut end plate from coming off of our buffer tube. Do this, properly stake it. Do not use Loctite. It's not necessary and it usually makes it too tight. It will not come undone if you properly stake your, your buffer tube. Now, okay, I'll put that back later. This is super easy to put in there. Make sure your buffer's facing forward. There we go. And I'll go ahead and do Do the stock, slide it all the way on, click it in place. Now we have our adjustments, super easy. And it's not gonna fall off unless you do the same thing to remove it. So our stock is on. That completes our lower. Things to consider when getting your stock. I like a QD mount available. So I have one, two mounts for QD on my lower. It's a good looking lower.